Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. New movie Finding Dory is coming out. It's a sequel to really popular Finding Nemo from 2003. And to celebrate, I'm teaming up with my YouTuber friends in a Dory collaboration. You can learn how to make these beautiful Dory inspired treats. Links are posted down below or you can click on the individual images and it will take you to that tutorial. And I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable jello cups that uh, resemble ocean floor or aquarium. Dory character is actually based on a real fish. Did you guys know that? And the fish name is Regal Blue Tang. I hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's get started. We're going to need jello. I don't work with jello too often, so I picked up some berry berry uh, jello. And we're also going to need some fruit. You can use fresh fruit if you wish. I ended up getting just uh, canned fruit. And we'll be using some warm gummies and really cute dory gummies that I picked up at a local store. And you can also find these cute little sharks. You can maybe use those as well if you wish. First, I'm going to cut the gummies in half, lengthwise. This exposes the sticky part of the worm, so we can make the coral. These are basically tentacles, coral tentacles. So I thought this was a really fun to do, um, to create a coral on the inside of the glass. Now you're gonna drain your fruit, depending on how big the fruit is. I thought it was a little too big, so I ended up uh, cutting it into smaller pieces, but this is really an optional step. You don't have to do that. So I'm using these glasses, and I'm going to show you how you can build your own coral. So make sure that you use the sticky part, and you're gonna attach it onto the inside of the glass. Now, Take another piece and trim it. You may want to trim the end to the point so you can easily stick it onto the main tentacle. Once you are done making all the corals, we're gonna fill the bottom with some fruit. And now it's time to get the jello going. So I'm using two pouches of berry jello. And I'm going to add two cups of boiling water. And then we're going to whisk it until dissolved. And then we'll add additional two cups of cold water. I'm going to let the mixture cool completely. Actually, I'm going to stick it into the fridge until it cools, but it's still liquid because I don't want to add this to my cups hot. Now, I'm going to weight down the fruit with another gummy worm. You can also do this by pouring some of the jello mixture and then put it in, putting it in the freezer for a couple minutes until it sets. This is just so the fruit is not floating on top. Once you fill these, we're going to stick them back into the fridge. And I'm gonna let them set for about five hours or overnight. Once ready to decorate the tops, you can take the cute little gummy treats out of the packaging. And since cello tastes better with whipped cream on the top, I'm going to whip up some heavy cream and I'm adding whippet powder to it. This will stabilize the 
cream I'd say it's a alternative to gelatin I'm also adding some powdered sugar and you can also add a splash of vanilla I'm using a large star tip and we're going to pipe a big swirl on the top You can make, the, make these cups ahead of time and store them in the refrigerator for up to 4 days or so. Sprinkle some jimmies on the top and put Dory, Hank and Nemo on top of the whipped cream. And there you have it, beautiful Dory inspired treats. I hope you guys enjoy these chilla cups. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of the Dory collaboration. And I will see you next time.